Mmm, coffee. Nectar of the gods. It's like the diesel fuel EMS people live off of. Sorry for the delay on this video. I was away in New Jersey for the National Conference on EMS. They actually gave me the idea that I should do a video on whether or not you should be going to EMS conferences. We're gonna start that right now. Welcome back everybody, I'm Rescue Randy and this is my YouTube channel to focus on all things of EMS. EMS conferences, expos, conventions, all of them sound the same to me, so I'm assuming they are the same. I think they're great, I think they're awesome. I think you can learn a lot of different things from going to an EMS conference. What do you learn, what do you do? We're gonna talk about that in this video. I just came back from the National Conference on EMS in New Jersey and I go to this thing every year because I live in New York, it's super close and I like hanging out with the people over there. If you happen to live in the tri-state area, pop on over, it's a really good time, we'll hang out. So what is it that you get out of going to an EMS conference? You have the educational aspect, you have the networking, you have the tech, and then you have the competitions. We're gonna go through all of those one by one. Educational. So you know as EMTs and paramedics, we have to do CE. CME, CE, depending where you are, it's called different things. But we do have to do continuing education. Going to conferences is the best way to do that. There are so many things that you can learn. They run the gamut of information. It doesn't matter if you're an EMT, paramedic, or administrator for EMS, you're gonna find a lecture out there that is geared towards you, that is taught by subject matter experts. And that's pretty much the greatest thing, right? So it's a great way to gain experience in a really short amount of time. Other things they talk about sometimes are new medications and treatment modalities that might be coming out or something that they use in their system that you may not necessarily use in your system. So for example, I know a number of years ago I went to a conference and they were talking about the use of transexamic acid. Now, I didn't use it at the time. It wasn't something that my department had, uh, but now they do. And I had kind of the leg up because I already learned a lot about it during this conference. Also, you might learn more about dealing with specialty populations, be it that it's pediatric, geriatric, bariatric, some kind of atric, whatever. You can definitely learn a lot about this stuff and how to treat them and how to do it properly, or at least some better way, uh, than maybe the, the way you were doing it before. Patient interactions is a big one. It's just dealing with someone maybe who has suicidal tendencies to someone that's just been recently assaulted. Doing these lectures is really great because the people that are teaching it, they have a lot more experience than you do most likely. They'll tell you all their experience and then tell you how to deal with these situations so you'll be more prepared. Number two, you got networking. So a lot of us like to stay in our comfort zone. We'd like to deal with the people we work with in this area we work and dealing with pretty much the same kind of patients we always deal with. When you go to these conferences, you're gonna be able to network with people from other EMS agencies from all across the world. And this is really where everything kind of bonuses up because now you get to really learn more about EMS as a system versus what you have in your local backyard. Holy moly, the sun's coming out. How glorious. It's probably still freezing out there. What are you gonna do? All right, number three, here we go. Uh, it's tech. There's always these companies selling their tech. They got new stuff, fancy new stuff, and it's fun to check it out, honestly. Uh, I've seen some really, really cool innovative things at these conferences that probably are like five years from getting FDA approval, but it's still really cool to see. Now, medication doesn't really change so much. You're not gonna see stuff like that, but you are gonna see new tourniquets. There's always new tourniquets. Oh my God, there's like a thousand different tourniquets out there. You will see all the different ambulances out there. Now, most of them are pretty cool. Outside looks pretty much like every ambulance out there with the LED lights, flashy, flashy, but you're definitely gonna see different configurations inside. You might see these Euro buses where it's very much like the uh, sprinters but kind of configured differently there's also different kinds of stretchers some of those like you probably ran into them at some point those stair chairs that kind of convert into a stretcher bariatric stretchers some fancy schmancy different kinds auto loading stretchers they're really really cool um, if you're part of a smaller agency maybe you could bring back some brochures something like that to your procurement and they can maybe bring in one or two of these things to try out there are different kind of monitors out there also for ALS uh, you have like the physios you have the Zoles, you have the Philips, and, I, and like the newest one I've seen was like a Tempest. It's like a really small monitor and they're making all these modules for it. I guess it's really good for confined space and things like that. On the education side, also you run into the different kinds of training mannequins from Laredal, Grimaud, uh, Trauma Effects is one also. The apparel, there's crazy amounts of apparel too. Between all the buff shirts, you can buy the sweatshirts, the hats, the coins, the patches, I mean, you, you, you want it, you can get it. There's so much stuff there that you can, it's like going to Comic-Con, but for EMS buffs. So it's pretty cool if you, you like that kind of thing. This guy's blowing leaves. Doesn't even know I'm making a YouTube video, it's a guy killing me. Fourth thing, and this is the main reason why I go to conventions, is for the clinical challenges or competitions. I am a competition medic, I go out there and I put my skills on the line in front of all these people 
and they put us into pretty ridiculous scenarios. We're running these major MCI scenarios or just very uh, medical based scenarios and we, we basically try to mitigate the scene, the scenario, the patients, everything. We do the whole night from soup to nuts. It's a lot of fun for me. It's a great way to gain experience without having to actually be there dealing with specific kinds of patients because these scenarios are pretty extreme so you know it's better to do it this way than to deal with actual patients in the sense that, you know, you can't hurt anybody. It's a great way to do some education too. So that's why I think you guys should be going to EMS conferences. Now, I'm not saying you gotta go to all the national conferences if they're super far away. There's always that local conference that you can go to and check it out. Bring some friends and maybe if you're lucky, your agency might even send you out there. That'd be fun, right? You don't have to pay for it then. I think the next conference I'm going to is probably gonna be EMS Today, GEMS. Uh, that's gonna be held in Florida. So if you happen to be in Florida for that conference, come find me, we'll hang out, have a drink, have a laugh. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for this video. I know it's a little bit short, but I promise I'll be trying to put up some uh, more videos soon, okay? Stay safe, everyone. See you in the next video. Ooh, before I forget, uh, I wanna congratulate my friends from Senior Care EMS for taking the gold, the win, at the National Conference on EMS in New Jersey. You guys crushed it, amazing work. Um, Dave Mader, Jessica Hundredmark, you guys are amazing. It was great competing against you, and I'll see you guys at GEMS.